Good morning, tree people. Today we're going to be talking about the three types of cuts that you can make when working on trees. Those are going to be thinning cuts, heading cuts, and reduction cuts. And it is important to understand why you are going to be making each of these cuts, the different applications, pros and cons, and then also it's important to understand them to be able to communicate them to others. So the first type of cut we want to talk about are heading cuts. The reason we're talking about them first is because 90% of the time you're going to be avoiding these type of cuts. And a heading cut is where you make an internodal cut on a tree. In its roughest sense, trees can be broken down into nodes and internodes. Nodes are basically where things are happening. So nodes are where leaves come out of, where sticks grow out of, where flowers grow out of. They're the places where cells are actively dividing and differentiating. Internodes are the space between the nodes. So if you make a cut in the inner node, the branch is going to die back to the next node or barrier or place that the tree is actively doing anything. So if you make cuts in these inner nodes, you're gonna be looking at a lot of sprouting and a lot of decay. A heading cut can also be if you cut a branch back to something that is less than a third the size of the parent cut. So if I cut this one inch branch back to a 16th inch sprout, it's probably gonna to continue to die back to the next branch that's able to support the rest of the, that part of the tree. Uh, places where heading cuts are appropriate are if you're establishing pollard heads, which is a very intentional, regularly maintained system of maintaining trees at a certain height. Uh, you don't see it a lot in America, but it's very popular in Europe. And when you're making heading cuts, you're trying to encourage sprouting, and then you're going to maintain those sprouts. The other time that heading cuts are appropriate are if you're shearing a hedge or a bush or some smaller plant that is adapted, well adapted to shearing. When you're shearing, you're not gonna be looking for nodes for every single cut you're making. You're kind of indiscriminately shaping the bush. So you have a different goal there and the consequences are not as great. Making heading cuts on trees in its worst form can be seen in topping, which is where you indiscriminately make large cuts on fairly mature trees and create excessive sprouting you create decay pockets, and you can drastically shorten or end the life of a tree. The next type of cut we're gonna talk about are thinning cuts. So a thinning cut in its basic sense is when you have a union and you're making a cut at that union, you choose the smaller of the two branches. So this is a pretty obvious case. Here's the main trunk and here's a small branch growing off of it. That would be a thinning cut. If we remove this branch, this is also a thinning cut. Thinning cuts can be helpful for raising branches to the permanent canopy of a tree. You can clear walkways and things like that by raising the canopy up. Uh, one of the downsides of a thinning cut is you tend to encourage longer, skinnier branches if you're removing everything kind of out to the tip. This can create kind of whiffy branches in broad strokes, but there are many applications where thinning cuts can be very helpful. Some of the benefits of thinning cuts are that you're usually cutting at a branch bark collar. So this is going to allow you to have less decay and less sprouting from your cuts. The next type of cut we're going to be talking about is a reduction cut. So if the thinning cut is where at a union we take the smaller of the two branches, a reduction cut is where we take the larger of the two branches. The downsides of this cut are that you generally get more decay and sprouting from it. And the benefits include creating a shorter, fatter branch that can be more resilient to wind loading and things like that instead of a longer, skinny branch. So in this case, if we don't want to take this entire branch off all the way back to the trunk, we can make a reduction cut and take a lot of the weight off and subordinate this branch. 